hello guys welcome back so in this video we will be solving one of the most important question in python okay so the question is find the unique words from the giving input string so the input string is this like geek coders geek coders hello right so here here you can see geek coders word is repeating two time and uh, hello is the repeating only one time in a single entry right so we can say that hello I mean hello is the unique word from this string okay so before going to this I would like to introduce my course that is master in Python with data structure and algorithm here you can see we totally we have five modules till now and uh, already 91 learners have enrolled in this course right and here you will be learning about the basic of Python some advanced version of Python as well as and learn about the DSA part which are required in the data engineering role so if you can see there are five modules like install python we have then basic of python where we have covered everything right we have covered oops concepts also in detail right doc string exception handling file handling and other other stuff then we have a pre request for data structure algorithm in python right like what is time and space complexity what is recursion searching algorithm sorting algorithms and predefined data uh, data structure and even though uh, user defined data structures after that we have some problem solving uh, module we will be adding more question over here right and then we have a fourth module this is a real time scenario framework in data engineering here also we will be adding some more mod some more chapters in near future okay so if you are interested if you want to learn these skills then i would definitely uh, suggest you to check this course out and enroll into it cool now let's go back to the question so here as we as we always uh, create one function right so i can create one function saying that f unix right and here i will pass input underscore string cool now what i will do here uh, since you know we have to since this is a string right and we have to iterate here so what i will do what uh, what we can do we can you know uh, uh, go i mean we can write this string and use a split a split with spaces cool and now i have to count it whether you know first character is i mean first word is repeated two times three times and so on so what i can do i can use here dictionary okay i can use here dictionary and here i will just write if i okay i not in this dictionary i not in this dictionary then i will say that you know add this value in th into the dictionary so i'll just take it as one right so suppose you can say um, you can say okay not like this i will show you later else if it is already present then i will say that do this dict of i plus one so i am incrementing the value right now now once it is done now let me just run this function and here i will return here i will return dictionary cool and let me call this function with print statement str1 cool you can see it printed like geek chorus 2 and hello 1 so let's say let's see how it is printing these things no I will I should not write here I should write here right and here also I should write let me run this now we now you can see since we do not have the uh, like the before the dictionary was empty correct so it goes here it says that you know I value the geek coders value is not present in the dictionary so it added and it count as one cool again the geek coders come over here it says that oh it is already present in the dictionary so it will skip and come to else part else part what i am doing i am just appending this plus with plus one so now the geek coders become two geek coders become two and in the third one hello since hello is not present over here right then what it did that you know it added uh, it added this as a new key right as a new key hello and the value will be one cool so let me just remove this now for now and till now what we have done is that we have uh, we have understood 
and then you know we got to know that hey we have uh, this i mean we have the words and respective we have their their counts okay now we need to only print the values or uh, yeah i mean the values the the keys where the value is only one so what i can do what i can do i can write here for i in again for not i in let's say k dot v k comma v in in that dict right not dict dict dot items cool and here i can print i can just check it that if v is equal to is equal to 1 if it is 1 then i will say that hey you print k right i do not need this or else what i can do i can also create one uh, one list right like this and uh, and i can append to this k right and here i will return l let me run this now you can see hello is printed now we can also make this cool that's not needed remove it now we'll run it will run successfully so you can see that you know we have written this function so do we have any predefined function predefined module in the python yes we have so we can also use from collections import counter method right so if i just use this counter class right so if i use this counter um, what i can do i can just you know comment this and i can call this and passing with this is string cool and here i will just give here dict only let me comment this also and if i run this now then you will see hey sorry hey sorry sorry here i have to pass a split also so if i do this now then you will see again the hello is printed now if i just try to print dict here then you will also see that it returns the same result right counter geek coders 2 and hello 1 it returns as a dictionary object only right cool so i hope that you have understood like we have a different ways to do say see if you are making a project then i believe you should you you are not needed to write this whole code right you can use their counter object uh, counter class also right and you can explore this and maybe if we there we have multiple uh, methods present over here right so you can check it out but you should ideally you should know that how this work okay that's why the reason is that's why i have just shown you the basic way first and then this is the advanced way right i hope that you have understood thank you bye bye